What's up everybody? It's a boy Mean here. Uh, for breakfast, I didn't have anything. For lunch, I had these meatballs and rice that were at school and um, quinoa salad. And for dinner, I had um, a wrap at work and some potato salad and that was pretty good. I got a free book today and it is a shop class of Soulcraft. Um, I typically take a really long time to pick out books uh, because it's the end of the year and you know our unit's kind of done. Uh, you know, we've just been doing some independent reading, uh, cause, you know, that's easy to do and we are, we're kind of done with the unit, or the curriculum, really. So, um, we've been going to the library, it's taken me, and we read every Friday, and it's taken me three weeks to get a book, right? Um, and the reason why is because, you know, I like the book to find me, I don't like to find the book, you know, I, I have to look around the library three times, and then a book appears that I hadn't seen before, and, you know, I open it up and it instantly enchants me, right? Uh, so... Um, I actually saw this on a shelf after looking around for a while. I was like, oh, um, Van Neistat always talks about this book. For those of you who don't know, great filmmaker, uh, Casey Neistat's brother, he worked with artist Thomas Axe quite a bit. Um, and, uh, I, you know, my buddy really likes it and my other buddy really likes it. And I've heard very good things about it. So, um, I'm going to go to the library and ask, uh, if... I can check it out, right? And so I walk up to him, he's like, I, I'm like, oh, can I check out this book? And he's like, what book did you check out? And I said, Shock Class of Soulcraft, an inquiry into the value of work. And he said, okay. So he looked at it and he grabbed it and he looked around and he said, Leo, where did you get this? And I said, uh, somewhere over there. And he said, well, this book isn't part of the library. I guess it's yours. Um, so yeah, it's mine. He said, if I don't like it, return it and he can put it into the library system, but yeah, I just got the book for free, and it looks like pretty new. The spine is pretty resistant. Probably gonna take off the dust cover when I start reading it. Um, this other cover looks without the dust cover. I think it looks way better, uh, but you know, maybe that's just an odd opinion. Uh, nothing else really happened today. Nothing really happened at work that I can think of. Oh, um, after school today, well, at school, but like, we had early, we had shortened periods all day for this thing at the end of school. There's this thing called Flock Day, because um, our school's like kind of bird themed. Um, and it was basically field day. Uh, you didn't have to go out into the field though. There was like um, different things that you could do all across the school. Like one game was like a video, one room was like a video game room. One room was like a, I don't know, like a face painting thing or something. Um, and then there would be, like, barbecue outside. Um, so we had some barbecue, some hot dogs, they were pretty good. Um, then I just sat around in the video game room, and that was, that was pretty cool, too. I just sat around on my phone. Uh, but, you know, it was nice, having, like, nothing to do at the end of the day. Uh, a lot of people skipped, a lot of people went home. Uh, but the main reason why I couldn't do that is because I worked right after school, and, you know, I mean, what am I going to do? Go home and then immediately go back to work? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. All right, see you, dude. Shout out Matthew B. Crawford.